Hey, Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for February 7, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, candles, tarot cards, and much more on my website. The reading special is still going on for anyone who's interested. Tarotbarbie.com. Let's get a Virgo's coming in with the Empress, the Three of Wands, and the Emperor. It looks like Virgos, you guys have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who is wanting to come back towards you guys, but it looks like the connection is completely over between the two of you. Also, Virgos, you guys are looking absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful, divine feminine energy or divine masculine. You guys are stepping into your feminine goddess energy, definitely embracing that feminine energy, whether you're a male or a female, it don't matter, Virgos. You guys are just getting into it, embracing it, accepting it. You guys are, have come such a long way to be receiving all these blessings. A lot of you guys have definitely broken a lot of generational curses for yourselves. You're all your manifestations. All that beautiful energy, Virgos, feeling confident, feeling empowered, standing in your powers, not getting up and not chasing after nothing and nobody, um, understanding who you are and what your worth is. Your self-esteem is booming super high here, Virgos, especially with the temperance card there. You understanding who you are, what you're capable of, and because of this, you guys have the Ace of Cups, temp the temperance Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card. You're stepping into your power, Virgos. You're embracing that feminine energy. You're em em embracing that female, feminine goddess. A lot of you guys may have been seeing spiders here. Some of you guys may have also been seeing white feathers. Some of you guys have also been seeing feathers that have um, white and black as well for some of you guys. <coughs> some of you guys are going to be also seeing birds. <clears throat> excuse me Virgos some of you guys may also be seeing birds more so like white doves here like that it's going to end up happening for you when you guys see these when you guys see these omens for yourselves these beautiful beautiful great omens for yourselves just so that all your blessings are going to be coming in you guys have confidence self-esteem you guys are stepping into your beautiful energy you guys have prosperity abundance tranquility happiness the cycle is officially turning in your favor and that's all because of the fact that you are embracing your energy at such a high frequency that when you vibe at, at this high frequency all of the low vibrational people energy vampires narcissists whatever they start falling off of you one by one by one there's no way in hell any of these people are going to be able to keep up with you at this point here virgos you guys have an aries Leo Sagittarius who still has their eye on you all right, this person is seeing your glow up, Virgos. They're seeing the way that you're prospering. They're seeing the way that you have so much felicity coming towards you guys. And I don't see this person being able to come back towards you just because of the fact that they may have fucked around with you in some sort of way or didn't take you seriously. But since this person was out of your energy, you guys leveled up by 10, Virgos. Some of you guys may have met a divine masculine there who, if this person finds out that this person here wants to come back, so this one is a karmic for you guys, right? And then you have this beautiful, handsome emperor there for you. If this person finds out that this one here is in the picture and they're keeping their eye on you like that, they're not going to take any shit, Virgos. They're going to honestly walk away with the Eight of Cups. They're not, they're not going to fight with you. They're not going to beef with you. They're not going to put you down, hurt you. They're, they're, no, no, they're not. And obviously, of course, I see this person returning back to you with the Five of Cups. But if you guys were the, would be the ones to message this person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it's saying that you guys might be feeling a little bit scattered if this person's going to be walking away or this is how they're going to end up feeling if if they see that you're either walking away or vice versa. So on an emotional level, it's going to upset them very much so if you walk away or if they walk away. And if you guys end up contacting them, it's simply saying here, don't be so scattered because you guys are going to be feeling all over the place when if this person was to actually leave you. So what you guys want to do is make sure that you guys keep this person here out of the picture. Keep them out of the picture, Virgos, all right? You got the Five of Swords, Two of Wands, Seven of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. You guys have a lot of people who are onlookers at the moment. A lot of people who are curious about you. A lot of people who are wondering what's going on with you. A lot of people who are projecting the evil eye, who are trying to play tricks and talk shit about you here as well. It's saying, Virgos, that you have defeated these people with the Five of Swords. The people who are doing all this trickery shit on you, anybody, doesn't matter who it is. They're going to end up in a lot of trouble. They're not going to be able to have any creative, any, they're not going to be open-minded, no creative ways. Nothing's going to be coming towards them. And that's because they always want to try and take something that doesn't belong to them with the Seven of Sword Energy. Always thinking that they can get away with it. But for whatever reason, Virgos, if that's the case, all I see is them, that, that them getting hit really badly with the Two of Pentacles of the Page of Sword Energy. They need to keep their eyes on themselves. They need to focus on themselves, whether, them, whether they are focusing on you too much 
at the end of the day, they're going to be on their face. They're, they're good. These, this is you now, right? Before you would have been over here. But now you took all the swords and said, you're not going to do me one like that no more. You're not going to hurt me like that. Forget you. Forget everything. I'm taking them and I'm going to leave you behind. Now, now they're there. Now they got problems in their life. Two of Wands. And you guys see this shit for exactly what it is with the Seven of Sword energy. Yeah, two, two of Pentacles. If whatever they do to you, it literally looks like it goes right back onto them anyway. You guys got new beginnings coming towards you guys, especially when it comes to love here, Virgos. But the thing is, if it was regarding this situation here, it's simply saying, hey, you guys are going to continue to protect yourself, protect your energy. You guys have been harvesting. You guys have been, you guys have been investing. You guys have been taking care of the things that mean so much to you guys. And eventually soon you guys are going to be able to pick them off maybe by by springtime or by summer. That's just going to be in a couple months, Virgos, where you're really going to be able to see the fruits of your labor, like all your hard work. You guys haven't given up. Maybe some of you guys want to give up about seven times during the process of, the, of you guys manifesting, you know, but you guys never did, sweeties. You guys never did. Please understand that you guys have new opportunities coming towards you guys. You guys have been through so much with the Ten of Swords. Make sure that you guys don't have anybody taking you guys off of your path with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Continue to stand in your power here as well. There could also be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who doesn't have the best intelligence here. And coming into the near future, they may also be losing a lot of money. And they're going to be ending up on their face with the Ten of Swords. If this person did anything bad onto you, they're going to end up getting the Ten of Swords in their bag and they're going to back and they're going to end up getting dragged. You guys, Virgos, are going to have to make sure you guys are going to continue to stand in your power. Be confident. Be fierce. Be fiery. Be passionate. You guys are so beautiful and so loving with the Queen of Wands energy. Everyone's going to want to be around you guys, right? You guys have gone through so much and people don't understand the pain that you guys have genuinely been through. Make sure you don't allow anyone to take you off of your path and make sure you guys release the past with the Six of Cups in reverse. Do not stay stuck in the past whatsoever the past is done and over with it's not going to get you where you guys are going to if it didn't get you anywhere in the past i'm pretty sure it's not going to get you anywhere in the future there's always an expiry date to absolutely everything and anything in this life that's why virgos with the four of pentacles don't be holding on so tightly on to anything here don't hold on to nothing when you hold too tight it hurts release it so you know what whatever the universe has in store for me today i guess that's what it's going to end up being Go with the flow. Accept what the universe has in what the universe has in store for you guys. All right. There could be an Aries Leo. Type of, oh, damn Virgo, you guys got too much fire energy. Who's like on your asses at the moment? All right. Uh, you guys might be fighting with this person, beefing with this person, whatever the case is. But there's just a lot of struggles with the Five of Wands, and you guys might have a little bit of a disagreement here with the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Chariot card, like. A lot of people are going to be receiving their vengeance for the shit that they have put you through as well. And they're going to end up being stuck in some sort of way. And that looks like that's because of their karma. When people want to make you suffer, see the, my fucking voice all of a sudden. Because there's something wrong here with the Knight of Wands. Right? <clears throat> they're not, they're not, there's something is stuck. Something stuck. Something is literally stuck. Okay. If somebody here is going to continue to argue and argue and argue, it's not that, like, and arguing is tiring. It's really, really tiring, right? <sighs> like, I'm just so exhausted with this Five of Wands energy, Virgos. And I feel bad for you guys, the ones who are always having to fight and argue so much because somebody here doesn't choose to listen. Somebody here decides to hear you, but they don't choose to listen to what the things that you're saying. It's like going through one ear and out the other, but then nobody's listening. It's like speaking to a damn wall. Literally speaking to a damn wall. There's there's two different types of listening. There's those that hear you speak, and then there's those who are listening to you when you're speaking. <clears throat> With the Knight of Wands, it's just simply saying, think about it before you want to be rushing back into a situation like this, especially after the fact that if this was the case, Virgos. That this person was being very much so selfish and manipulative with you, especially when you guys are stepping into your power. And if these people here think, or your ex or here, or whatever, thinks that they can get away with the shit that they have done to you, no, they can't. Not anymore. Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords. They're just going to have to sit there and, 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 and watch it, to be honest with you. There could also be a message coming in from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But the, please be mindful that when this person tries to reach back out to you again with the Two of Pentacles, they have not changed. They're still stuck in their ways. This person's not open to creativity. They're not willing, and nor are they open to 
to create a relationship here with you. They're only thinking about themselves. They're only thinking about how they can get what it is that they need from you. Make sure, Virgos, because you guys are stepping into your Empress energy right there, that nobody out of the blue just pops up out of nowhere and just wanting to, like, literally eat off of you straight up. Because this is a page of swords, this is a page of wands, and you guys have something already coming towards you guys that is looking absolutely beautiful for you, right? So when these people want to come back for you, and they want to see, and they see that you're glowing up with the Empress Temperance Ace of Cups too, <laughs> the fuck, bro, that's beautiful, that's such beautiful energy for you guys. You guys don't want people to come back into your life just because of the fact that you're prospering. When they see that you're living the best life without them, then they're going to want to just start coming back slowly again to you. But believe me when I say with the Seven of Swords or the Five of Swords, this is a very dangerous person. A very dangerous person. Keep this person out of your energy because they fear the day that you make it in life and they're going to end up being left behind and they're not going to have nothing and nobody to rely on because when they thought that you weren't capable when they thought that you weren't the best at that time when they thought that oh you were never going to make it in this life but when they thought that oh no they're going to have to feed you all the time give you money whatever and it looks like you guys were able to do that on your own by literally embracing yourself <clears throat> You guys got throat chakra problems, Virgos. The fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> Yo, clear your throat chakras, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, or yeah, just somebody needs to clear up the throat chakra, Virgos. All right. So, if this person sees that you're glowing up and they see that, oh my god, like, yo, how did how did this Virgo do it? How were they? How were how did they manage to do all that? And then now they want to come back because they come to the realization that maybe they ain't shit at the end of the day and you did something with your life. You are ambitious. You are courageous. You are capable. You are positive, you know, and this person always looked down at you like maybe you were you were like a peasant, but you was not. This is somebody here, Virgo, who's so much like a freaking narcissist where they always like picking at you, picking at you, putting you down, talking shit on you. And then out of nowhere, you just level up by 10. And then now they're just sitting there watching you glow up, right? And if this person tries to come back for you, which it looks like they're going to Cancer Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Knight of Wands in Reverse, they're going to end up being stuck. This person's not coming in for anything, Virgos. They're coming in to fight with you straight up. This person wants to beef with you. They want to fight with you. They don't want you to be successful in any way, shape, or form. But you guys are literally going to be standing in your power, coming with the Queen of Sword energy. It's, it's an end. You're, you're putting an end to this shit. You're not going to be dealing with anybody who's going to be trying. Listen, this, nobody here is paying your bills. Do you see what I'm saying? Nobody here is investing in you. Nobody here is doing anything to you or anything for you to help you out to getting to where it is that you need to be. They have no right coming back into your life and talking shit to you, uh, slandering you, uh, putting you down, and 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 acting like you owe them something when you don't owe nobody nothing at the end of the day. This person here who likes to fight with you all the time, they can just back the fuck up off of you. I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing, Virgos, because with the Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords to the Three of Cups, you have the ability to fuck this person up with all the secrets that you are keeping Oh, you guys are holding a lot of secrets for a lot of your enemies out here. And these people don't know that you're still protecting them at the end of the day. <clears throat> you're still protecting a lot of people out here, Virgos, because you're not going to level down to their, to stoop down to their friggin' level and their shitty energy. But at any given time, if you want to, you can with the Queen of Swords. But for that, you know, Virgos, you're going to just speak up, your, say what you need to say. You guys have also had a lot of people coming in and attacking you with the Seven of Wands. You guys have so much secrets within you. You guys, you guys are still staying loyal to a lot of people who don't deserve your loyalty. They don't deserve your loyalty, Virgos. All right? And that's just because you guys come in with such beautiful hearts that nobody would never know how to deal with you at the end of the day. Aquarius energy. You guys have such a beautiful, prosperous future ahead of you guys because you guys continue to stay hopeful. You guys continue to stay blissful. You guys continue to have hope, faith that everything's going to end up working out for you guys in the long run. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You guys are having somebody here make an offer towards you guys. You guys are standing in your power, taking your power back because you guys believe that you guys are going to be, become successful with the Nine of Cups. All your manifestations are going to be coming to fruition with the Nine of Cups and you guys are going to be so abundant, so happy. You guys have the power within you to create to have you guys you know virgos and it's very cute energy especially with the page of cups you see what i mean like yeah you guys come in as someone who might be very young or very small or somebody who maybe doesn't have the most experience but this is how you guys show people on the outside that you guys don't have that much experience but on the real note they don't realize how powerful you genuinely are 
And this is why people, a lot of people like to underestimate you because you choose to be the page of cups. You don't go around with your head held high and acting like, oh, I know this and I know that and I know everything and I'm, I'm the big boss and I know everything. No, Virgos, you know what I'm saying? You guys don't act like that. So for that, you guys will always be like this cute little sweet spiritual person with the page of cups energy. And you, they don't, people like this, people like that, they will never be able to understand how powerful you genuinely are with the, with the, with the magician to the nine of cups. Snap your fingers and you got it. Snap your fingers again, you got it. That's exactly how you'd be living your life. And you can have everything and, and more, you know, this is somebody here who looks at everybody like they're their teacher. This is somebody who learns from absolutely everyone and everything around them. The universe is their teacher. Their enemies are their teacher. The good people are their teacher. Everybody's a teacher to this person. This is how this person learns. Page of Cups, Magician, Nine of Cups. You guys also have an offer coming in from somebody who's very beautiful and very sweet with the, with the, with the Nine of Cups. This person does just admires you so much, Virgos, you know? And they see that you're just so adorable. They just see that you, you know, you know, like almost like a power couple here that you guys can genuinely be with the Nine of Cups of the Magician card. And you guys both have something to offer each other. You guys both have something to offer each other. You guys are coming in as so sweet. Somebody here is also a daydreamer. <sighs> so cute energy, Virgos. All right, at the bottom of the deck, you got the moon card. The four of swords and the hermit card. Some of you guys may have been in hermit mode for the last little while. Or you guys are deciding to go into hermit mode for the next little while here, Virgo. Maybe for about four weeks, isolating yourselves, taking care of yourselves, and going into reflection maybe going hiking here as well. Some of you guys, during the full moon energy, you guys spent some time during the water here, and maybe you guys saw some really beautiful birds out on the shore or a lake or whatever you want to call it. But during this time, you guys have been doing a lot of meditation to go within, to reflect, to clean your chakras. However you guys, you guys were trying to do it, you guys did a Virgo's Four of Swords, a Hermit card. That's Virgo energy, Pisces energy there as well. Ace of Swords. You guys are getting the clarity that you guys need. Some of you guys' intuition totally just boomed Virgo's. You guys just went from like 0 to 100 on your intuition. And because of that, you guys are able to see so much more. Yeah, like success, Virgo's. And the High Priestess. <laughs> so cute. All right, yay. Look at that, Virgo's. Y'all be winning at life. <laughs> You're winning at life. There's nothing wrong. The, the the moon energy is in your favor. Four swords reflecting, hermiting, taking care of yourselves, meditation is also in your favor. Going within, spending some alone time, seeing things for exactly as they are with the ace of swords and seeing that you guys are going to be able to break through from all the darkness you guys have gone through and reaching, literally reaching your sun, your sun reaching your happiness, your victory. We're never going to stay in the same darkness twice, Virgos. You know what I mean? The energy has to pass eventually. You guys are winning at life with the Six of Wands to the World card. You guys are so successful. You guys are so prosperous. People are going to love being around you. You guys are so highly intuitive. Six of Pentacles, everything's going to be balanced out for you. You guys have so much prosperity and abundance coming towards you. Expect much more money on the way for you guys, Virgos. And expect maybe like your clientele to be getting much more better for the ones who have, who run businesses at the same time. You guys got a lot of money on the way, Virgos. Believe me, you do. And that's most likely because of the fact that you guys have been so resilient from all the dark shit that you guys have to have. To, <laughs> because of all the dark shit that you guys have gone through with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands energy, you guys still managed to pick yourselves back up. Never a day did you guys go and give up on absolutely anything. You guys said, you know what? I'm going to keep on and I'm going to keep on. Like... You know, you guys just kept going, Virgos, and everything's going to be we're able to work out in your favor at the end of the day. You guys have been through so much darkness during the new moon energy. It really changed a lot for you guys, especially with the energy of the new moon. It brought in a lot of new um, new opportunities towards you guys. So it's time to like lay, lay rest of the Ten of Wands. Release it and let it go, Virgos. It's done and over with. Don't be carrying burdening shit on you guys for the fuck for no. Don't let it go. You've, 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 you've gone through too much. You were staying resilient. You continue to stay humbled. You continue to stay focused. You continue to stay in your lane. No matter how many people were bothering you, no matter how many people were attacking you, no matter how many people from your ex, your passes, whatever you want to call it, were trying to come at you because they seen that you're blooming, you're, you're, you're gorgeous, everything. They, they don't, they don't want to see you prosper. Don't be carrying burdens that don't belong to you. You don't need to. 
it's okay to let it go. I know some of you guys may get really comfortable carrying the shit that doesn't belong to you. Let it go. It's weighing you the fuck down. Let it go immediately. All right, you guys got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who may want to come towards you. This person finds you to be so gorgeous, so beautiful, Virgos. <sighs> you, they may have been also very much so heartbroken, all right? What is that for? Because this person's like daydreaming about you, sweeties. And there's going to be a complete ending with the, with the Scorpio energy there. But for whatever reason, I'm seeing that there's going to be also a new transformation coming in for you guys. A rebirth of whatever had was taken from you. It's it's going to be coming back for you guys, all right? You guys have need to shed off the old skin. I'm telling you guys, Virgos, release the Ten of Wands. Let it go. Release it. Shed that old skin and get, get it off of you. It's time for you guys to embrace that snake energy where you guys are able to shed that old skin and let the new skin come in. You guys don't want stupid shit holding you guys down when you when you don't need stupid shit holding you down, Virgos. On a real note, though, you don't need that, all right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe there was a connection between you and this person that it was not moving anywhere, but it looks like this person is very much so stressed about you, having a lot of anxiety about you at the same time, but do expect messages coming in from this person, Virgos. It's going to be a lot of fast movement at this point. Things are going to start picking up, especially with the fact that retrograde has just gone direct we don't have any retrogrades going to going in we don't have any retrogrades until july <clears throat> when saturn goes in retrograde and i love the saturn energy because saturn is all to do with karma you got to pay up you doing bad out here you got to pay up you doing good out here the universe is going to pay you forward for that i love the i love saturn energy i love it because when you're doing good out here, you're going you're to be blessed up. And when you're doing bad out here, expect that coming back to you tenfold. Like on a real note though. Alright? Expect a lot of messages. A lot of you guys are going to be seeing so much beautiful birds. <sighs> a lot of dragonflies as well here, Virgos, for whoever that energy resonates for, wherever you guys are in the world. I know Australia is in summertime, you know, South America and stuff like that. You guys are going to be able to see all these cute things. And then for everybody else, it used huge, huge birds. Some of you guys are going to be also seeing a big bird around 6 o'clock in the morning, literally flying above your head. And it's going to be so cute and so low. Like you're going to be like looking up. Something's going to tell you to legit look up. And when you guys look up, it's just going to start flying right in front of you. Maybe the bird's not even flying yet, but the moment you look up, it just it starts taking off in your direction. And you guys are just like, what the hell? <laughs> All right, Virgos, a lot of you guys have been focusing on work because you don't have time to be sitting in anxiety. You've been just focusing, putting your head down because you guys are trying to numb your feelings. Also, Virgos, there's going to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Pisces, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who's going to be coming back towards you. This person wants to put effort and work into the connection between the two of you guys. This person is going to be finally standing in their power. They're seeing you, Virgos. They are. They're seeing you as someone who's very beautiful, very successful. Even though you guys stress a lot and everything like that, it's just because of the fact that you guys focus on your work a whole lot here. Work is so important for you guys, especially for the ones who are businessmen and businesswomen. So when this person comes in, expect this person to come in with fast, swift communication. They're coming in, Virgo. Some of you guys, this person might be reaching out to you while you're already at work here, and it might stress you out because you guys don't have time for anyone to interrupt you when you're at your workplace at all, all right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. This person's going to have a lot of love for you and a lot of feelings for you. They're going to want to put work in this situation between the two of you guys. Maybe you guys have, may have broken up with each other, and shit just did not work out between the two of you guys, but judgment is being called in. So for that, there's going to be a, a renewal coming in for you guys, especially with the four of wands. So do expect for you guys to be meeting up with this person, all right? King of Swords. Or as Gemini Libra Aquarius, this person's going to be coming in. When you guys come and bring this person back towards you guys, they're not going to know what to say to you. They're also not going to, they're just not going to know what to, what to say to you, Virgos. So maybe some of you guys are going to be doing more of the talking while they're not going to be talking a whole lot. But for whatever reason, they're not going to know what to say to you with the King of Swords. All right, this person is very confused at the moment too, or you guys are going to be very confused. When this person comes back for you, because they're all about fantasy. They're all about daydreaming and everything like that, right? Yeah, they're not going to know what to say to you, Virgos. King of Swords, Five of Pentacles, because they left you out in the cold for way too long. So they're not going to know what to how to deal with you at this point, because they know that what they've done to you was really fucked up and it wasn't good. They know that they chose other opportunities and other options before you. Maybe somebody here also had a mistress on you as well, and you guys may have found out about it. And it's just not making you guys feel good at all, right, Virgos? Um... With the, with the devil card there to the Ten of Pentacles, 
to the justice card. You guys have low vibrational people, Virgos, who are just focusing so much on your abundance, on your money, on your on your justice. The fact that you're still continuing to win. How does Virgos continue to win after them slandering your name? How do, how do they still continue to win? How do you continue to stay blessed up with people who are just so obsessed over you? People who are just wondering what you're doing all the time they don't understand brothers these people just sit there and fucking watch you all the damn time there could be a capricorn who's very much so obsessed with you too they might see they this person sees you they might be also very obsessed with you libra energy as well two of cups if this is a relationship for some of you guys this person is going to be coming to the realization that they're really fucking obsessed over you they're not going to know how to deal with you they're not going to know how to deal with you. They're not going to know what to do. They're not going to know anything. They're just not going to know how to do because they see you too beautiful. They see maybe this person thinks that you're too good for them with the Queen of Cups. How, do, how does Virgos got their life balanced the fuck out? How are they able to balance out their emotions, their finances, their work, their career? However, how are they able to do it, right? And anyway, Virgos, you guys got low vibrational people here with the tower, with the, the fucking tower. What is this tower that keeps coming in for me? Virgos, there's a tower that's going to be coming in for this obsessive person here, okay? And it's going to crumble their whole entire world up when they come to the realization that they're never going to be able to have you. Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, you are God. You guys are the 10 to the 10, Virgos. A lot of you guys may have been seeing 210, 10, 10 on the clock. 222, two, two, a whole lot here as well. Divine is on your side. They're protecting you. They're taking care of you. You're on the, They're definitely on the right path. And you guys have a lot of onlookers here who are seeing you prosper, loving yourself. Self-love is a big thing here, Virgo. There could be an emperor, uh, emperor, a hierophant here with the hierophant to the two of swords. There's a spiritual person that's in your energy, Virgos. It's saying that this person is going to officially be blocked. They're not going to be able to use their gifts in the correct way or and use their gifts at all. Maybe this person is going to end up losing their gifts just because of the fact that they continued to be so bad on you when you guys are coming in as somebody who is very much so of a light energy with the queen of cups energy right there regardless though money's on the way your happiness is on the way there's going to be love on the way everything's going to be balanced out for you and the and karma is going to be in your favor with the with the with the with the justice card to the queen of cups anyone who tried to do bad stuff on you when it comes to any type of spiritual attack they're going to end up having their gifts to be blocked 100% and it's going to be coming in on the on the next full moon in the month of February maybe February 15 16 17 okay 14th 15 16 17 around that time this person's spiritual gifts are going to be officially blocked they're not going to know how to they're not going to know what to do anymore they're not going to know what to do uh regardless of Virgos you do have a relationship coming towards you guys as and this person is just going to be absolutely obsessed with you. I don't even know what to tell you, but they're going to be really, really obsessed with you. Regardless of Virgos, congratulations because you guys are looking absolutely stunning and beautiful. You guys have done so well. You should really pat yourselves on the back for embracing this energy, to be embracing your feminine goddess energy, to be embracing the breaking the generational curses to stepping into your power remembering who the hell it is that you are and not allowing anyone to disrespect you uh deceive you hurt you in any way shape or form when you're sitting at a high frequency like this they're all gonna just start falling off of you virgos then no one's gonna be able to keep up with you reach you or anything like that you guys are so divinely protected that god and the angels are not gonna let nothing happen to you thanks cuties bye